Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Amazon African Motives, uh, still on electrical trade theory N2, uh, working on batteries, which is question number five from the question paper of November 2022. We have the first part of the question, which is question 5.1, where we are given to state four disadvantages of lead acid batteries, okay? If we are dealing with lead acid batteries, what are the disadvantages in this case? All right. So the first part that we have, there are so many. So you just pick any part, any four of your choice. So we are given uh, the first part. They are very heavy. All right. The other part that we have, acid is dangerous to handle. Okay. Not suitable for fast charging. Lead is not environmentally friendly can be stored only in the charged state. Salvation uh, occurs when uh, stored in the discharged state uh, need regular maintenance. So in terms of maintenance, you're going to have a regular maintenance, okay? Danger of overheating during charging must always be kept upright. Uh, spillage of electrolyte is dangerous. So these are the points that you're going to have. So just any four of your choice from this part. All right. So that's what we had on question 5.1, which are the disadvantages of lead acid uh, batteries. On 5.2, we are given to briefly describe the construction of a lithium ion battery. What are the stages in the construction of a lithium ion battery in this case. All right, so I'm um, just going to show you the ones that we are having. Uh, in this case, we have got uh, a lithium ion battery consists of three fundamental, uh, okay, functional parts in this case, which are a negative electrode commonly made of graphite. So we are saying in this case, the parts that we have, which are the functional parts, the first part that we have is a negative electrode commonly made of graphite. Then we've got a positive electrode made of either lithium uh, cobalt oxide, that is lithium ion phosphate, or lithium manganese oxide and electrolyte that is made of lithium salt in an organic solvent that provides a conduction path for ions and electrons. So this is what we are required to have or to state in your description. All right, so uh, guys, we just uh, be specific about your description. You have to be specific about your description. That is uh, what matters most, okay? Uh, 5.3, mention two constant voltage charging methods used to charge gel batteries. Okay, so if you are dealing with a gel battery, we have got fast charging. In this case, we've got uh, fast charging. Uh, we are given the charging method in this, in this case. And also we have got the float charging. We have got the float charging in this case. All right, so these are the two methods that we have. So if we are dealing with batteries, know the theory of each and every battery, the formation, the construction, advantages and disadvantages of each. This is how they ask these questions. So here we are just bringing you guys, how do they ask these questions and uh, how are you supposed to prepare? Uh, working with more questions uh, and question papers, it can actually help you in your revisions. For now, that's it from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.